Hello everyone. I'm happy to announce the new course called Essence of Abapanahana, where mostly we are going to have the focus on SQL script, AMDP, and CDS. So let's go and see the more detail about this course. Duration is going to be 20 to 25 hours around. Now, curriculum. Under the class one, we'll be learning about what is SQL script, why SQL script, and when we are supposed to use the SQL script. As SQL script is fundamental of creating any AMDP methods, that's why SQL script learning becomes very much essential. And that's why our focus are going to have to learn the SQL script first. We'll be learning under the SQL script about the important data types. We are also going to see where we can develop the SQL script. And for creating a SQL script, generally, we have the three types of containers. Those we are going to see what are the different types of container. We are going to see one of the container called anonymous function. Generally, we use this for testing purposes. Then another container we are having the stored procedure. And then another, that means the third one, we are having the user defined function. Then we will be learning about why AMDP, what is AMDP, and why AMDP is preferred over directly creating a stored procedure for an evaporator. So we can say that AMDP is another container where we are going to write the SQL script code under the AMDP method. And this is the recommended way for any abapper to write the SQL code inside the MDP. We are going to see why it is preferred to write the code under the MDP rather creating directly the stored procedure. We'll be learning the different types of loop. That means for loop, do and end do loop. And we'll be also learning what is a stored procedure, how to create the stored procedure, then what is declarative statement and imperative statement, how to use the data element in AMDP methods, data element, that means the ABAP data element. Using the ABAP data element, we can declare a variable in the AMDP stored procedure or AMDP function method. So what is AMDP stored procedure method and what is AMDP function method that we'll be also looking into more detail in the class. How we can call a procedure from another procedure or how we can call one AMDP procedure method from another AMDP procedure method. This is going to be same. This might be getting confusing because you don't have the basic idea about this. So once we understand the basics, it's going to make more sense and more understandable. Under the class two, we'll be learning about control statement, if else, then while loop, while loop with between then we are going to learn what is the temporary table or you can say internal table in SQL script. This is same as the internal table as we have in ABAP. We'll be learning what is DB cursor and how we can use the DB cursor in order to deal with a large amount of data. Then we'll be learning about the parameterized DB cursor. So all these are part of SQL script and this we can learn with the help of AMDP directly. Or we can develop in the stored procedure as well. 
so both the way we are going to see so once we understand with one of either way we will be able to do in another way seamlessly we will be learning about how to handle the sql exception with different examples and how we can handle the exception for a specific error code under the class 3 we are going to learn how to trim an array using the trim array function and how to i how to find total number of array cards in an array using the cardinality then we are going to see about db cursor we'll be also learning what is the db system variables what are the different database system variables available which we can use the sql script stored procedure and hence in turn we can use in the mdp stored procedure how to debug a procedure that also we are going to see in detail we will be looking into how we can create a table how we can create a user defined function and then we will be learning that what is table udf so in fact user defined function comes in two flavor one is the scalar udf and another is the table udf so both we are going to see what is scalar udf and what is the table udf under the class 4 we are going to learn from the abap development point of view from the abap developer point of view the important parts of sql script so we will see how we can define the internal table that means the in sql script language that is the temporary table so how we can declare an internal table in amdp how to search internal table and get the index in amdp then how to find the total number of records in an internal table using amdp and how we can perform the existence check in amdp it is not so easy like you will not be able to put the read statement on internal table in amdp so all those things what we do in the abap we have to perform in a different way in amdp for that different syntax we have to use those we will be discussing in more detail in the class how to insert new records in an internal table using amdp then we'll be also looking if an internal table is empty how we can check their emptiness using this function we are also going to see what is the uh what is the approach in sql script for modifying you know any database record so in abap we use the modify in sql script how we can use the absort statement for the same purpose then we are going to see what are the different date functions available in amdp and we will be looking with the help of examples here under the class 5 we will be looking into the different functions we will be also looking how we can access the global variable using the set and unset function default null this is a keyword there is a syntax in sql script that we use that is a default null this is having its specific purpose what is the purpose of default null why it is important to use that we are going to discuss what is except operator how we can use in sql script what is amdp function that also we are going to see now in the class 6 we are going to implement a kind of real time scenario that is known as oia using the sql script which have been given by sap with the sap test data using the snwd star table we'll be also 
having the overview. However, it is not required nowadays because we are having the AMDP already, right? So this is nothing but the DB procedure proxy that we will be having the overview. This is basically used in order to access the database procedure. But now we don't require because we have more powerful, more better way. That is nothing but AMDP, at least for an app Apple. Class seven, we will be starting with CDS, one of the most powerful concept. What, why, how? Then CDS common questions and answer we will be discussing, which is very frequently asked in the interview. Then we are going to learn about the SQL view and CDS view, different annotations, aggregate functions, CDS with parameter, how to use CDS table functions, under the class eight, we are going to learn about the associations, path expression, how to use path expression in CDS, what is ad hoc association and exposed association in CDS and how, which one to choose when that we are going to discuss. How we can convert an association into inner join using the inner keyword that also we'll be looking into. In the class nine, we are going to see case and when statement, how to use in CDS, how we can directly create the auditor service using the CDS. And then we'll be talking about the virtual data model where we are going to discuss the basic composite and consumption view. Then we are going to see about the CDS and BOPF integration and we will try to create one transactional app in the CDS with the help of BOPF. And under the class 11, we are going to see about the CDS performance and we are going to discuss about the Fury element list reports. So total, we are going to have around 11 or maximum 12 class if required. And I'll be also giving you a map on HANA interview questions and answer as an ABAP, uh, as an, a bonus course so that if you are looking for preparation of ABAP on HANA interview question and answer, you can do so. Who this course is for? This course is for fresher ABAP or, or experienced ABAP or, or techno functional who wants to upgrade with CDS and MDP for better career growth and visibility. Then the technical architect who decide which approach to follow for better performance. And then for the manager or project manager to have the good understanding of the CDS and AMDP to make any decision related with development. Now, when we are going to start this course, this course going to start from 6th July, sorry, 6th August, next month saturdays so it's going to start from the 6th august basically and going to be there on saturdays and sunday in morning 7 30 a.m to 9 15 a.m okay it may go up to 9 30 or little less here and there on weekend only and fee is going to be 10k if there is any change in the time schedule we will be updating on the given link. You can find the link in the description box. There you can go and check it out. And if you want to register, you can register and get enrolled into this course. So thank you very much and see you there in the class.